And what's a bit of unfortunate news? Uh, words coming out that John Danaher is likely going to have to go for surgery again, and this time it may keep him off the mats. I don't know if it'll be for good, but it could be for quite a while now. He had a hip replacement recently where in the past couple of years he's been training where he's kind of like had a cane. He's been discussing exactly what's going on in the mat, but he's also had some of his top students displaying it during his classes, but that makes it tough for him to teach private lessons, obviously. And it sounds as though if he has to get this knee replacement, he might not be able to roll again. And if that's the case, then that's going to severely limit his ability to make a living through the, or through Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but also what he can do as a coach. Now with George St. Pierre coming back, he still is looking to coach DSP. He's looking to, obviously he's still looking to coach everyone at, um, at Henzo Gracie's. He's got his competitive team, the Don Hurd death squad with Eddie Cummings, Gordon Ryan, Gary Tone, and all those guys that are just competing against some of the top guys in the world and winning a lot of great matches. Obviously the EBI tournament is, been a great showcase for them so if he's not able to train anymore if he's not even really able to coach at a great level anymore it, it'll be interesting to see how that affects him i i'd imagine that that probably worst case scenario he's he loves jujitsu he's kind of built his life around it right now so for him to lose that would just be devastating and you'd hate to see that for anyone let alone someone like don air who's one of the great minds in the sport uh, so I, I think right now what the plan for him is, and he had a long Facebook post about it, it sounds like he's going to try to keep fighting through it and see if there's any way he can get around the surgery. But it sounds like from the doctors he talked to, he's going to have to get the surgery. So if he's got his hip and knee replaced, it's going to be very tough for him to roll. He can still obviously be a great mind. He can still kind of like sit from the outside and make great observations. But you wonder how that's going to affect the team, if that's going to mean that he's going to look to push one of his students into a higher role. Um, as far as MMA goes, whether he even gets involved with that or not, or if he just kind of like consults and helps helps fighters break stuff down, it, it'll be really interesting to see where he goes from here. You'd, you'd hate to see him not be able to coach at the same level he's been able to coach. You'd hate to see him not even be able to roll to the point where a lot of times if you have new ideas in jiu-jitsu and you can't even test them out, how do you really know that they work? So ho hopefully he gets better soon. Hopefully if they do have some kind of knee replacement, that there's a way to do it where he can still get back to doing what he loves after the healing process. Obviously, as time goes along, these processes get a little bit better as far as how durable the replacements are on how m much you can do with them. So hopefully that all works out for him and we see him back soon. The Donahue death squad stays strong and guys like GSP and everyone else training out of Henzo still get the chance to work with him, still improve a lot under his tutelage.